It's like a phone built around a battery pack. Another great prepper phone that you can just throw into any pantry. This will last so long. Again, the design, especially of the camera module, looks so cool. But as you know from the features video, yeah, there is a dark secret to this camera module, to say the least. By the way, if you want to see all my videos about the Blackview BV6600, then just type in Chris Viral Blackview BV6600 in a YouTube search and you will find all the videos. Initiating. Welcome back. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Friday in our day A in our chance to push hard and the topic for this vlog is my last vlog about the Blackview phone. A review after one week. So let's get it. By the way, all the product reviews are right here. Watch them all. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making us special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. If you want to know more about this device. Well, in my last vlog, I went through a demo, put these things through its paces, speaker test, pictures, videos, all of that good stuff. So if you want to see that, check out the last vlog. And now I will talk about all my experiences after one week. Actually, it's a bit more. First of all, as I already said, the screen protector is really weak. So if you're into screen protectors, then get yourself one with the phone. Don't know if you can see it, but this is just a plastic foil and I clean it with a paper, with a wet paper towel and this already scratched this protector. Anyways, it is of course not really significant, but I've never seen a, such, a we such a weak protector on a smartphone. So all in all, this thing looks Dope. It looks fire, it looks hard, it looks mean, it looks wild, it looks crazy. I love the design. And as I said in, in one of my last vlogs, this is of course just a budget phone, but the same form factor, the same battery, but with high-end hardware. Oh my goodness, I'm pretty sure that this would be a phone that a lot of guys would buy. It looks awesome, it looks so good like this rubberized case with the metal highlights and metal reinforcements on the on the sides and the camera module like freaking look at it it looks so good i love it the display has a gorilla glass 3 it's an ips panel good viewing angles but the pixel density is just 180 ish 182 ppi that's not much but it's looking it's actually looking surprisingly good brightness is okay the speaker is surprisingly loud and clear so speaker is great there are quite big bezels but all in all it's not that bad for a rugged phone and it's also good for grip feels good in the hand and very good grip the power button with the integrated fingerprint reader works really good it's really fast so that's not an issue yeah also the buttons like the volume rocker metal buttons feels really high quality i love that it also has these customizable buttons with three button modes basically so that's also a really cool feature that this phone has i would love to see more customizable buttons on phones why isn't that a thing only rugged phones have them by the way the options are one click double click and long press for this feels really premium no wobbling around the build is really good especially for the price point the sim tray has a dual hybrid design so you can either have two sim cards or one sim card and expand your storage with a micro sd card there's usual stuff right there in the budget class of course one of the usps is the is the big battery and this can last you days and it even has up to 18 watts fast charging the battery endurance is out of this world i've never seen such a big battery over 8000 milliamp hours this can easily last you three days with normal usage it's insane from zero to 100 it will take around three hours with the fast charging of course it's not even that bad this is just so funny it's like a phone built around a battery pack another great prepper phone that you can just throw into any pantry this will last so long and it's shit it's like an emergency phone again the design especially of the camera module looks so cool. But as you know from the features video, yeah, there is a dark secret to this camera module to say the least. Only having this for style is fine for the price point, but a fully specced out phone would be cool. Also, this thing basically has no overheating, but this is also due to the lower spec hardware, good heat dissipation, and also when there is not that much processing power in there literally won't even get warm so there is no overheating issue with this whatsoever but now let's get to the downside so the cameras they are really low spec at best mediocre and again display has this rather low ppi this rather low pixel density and there is no headphone jack but at least it has bluetooth version 5 watching youtube videos on this 
definitely works and you can do this for hours. All in all, I mean, this phone is pretty dope for the price point. All these budget phones, I don't know how they can sell at such low prices but yeah here we have a yet another rugged phone that is priced very cheaply so for the price point it's not too bad it's not too bad and this concludes my last vlog about the blackview phone maybe i'll get to a long-term review after six months so stay tuned for that but that's it for this one smash that like button the way you can smash all your power banks power packs if you have this phone ring the bell like rapa, to never miss product reviews and check the recent news on chrisviral.com and yeah that's it for today i will see you tomorrow